Tonight, our continuing coverage, a big story out of Cedar Rapids, highly contaminant and corrosive. That's how a special agent with the Iowa Division of Narcotics Enforcement is describing some of the active meth-making ingredients found inside the Taco Bell out on Blair's Ferry Road. KWWL back at the restaurant again today on Blair's Ferry Road in Cedar Rapids as engineers and scientists wearing safety vests and hard hats were working inside the restaurant trying to get it cleaned up, trying to determine exactly what was in there. Cedar Rapids police say the two men on your screen there, they were the men behind the meth lab. 31-year-old Christopher Matowski is a, an assistant manager at the Taco Bear, uh, Taco Bell, I should say, and also Kent Dubby on your right there. Both of these men have been charged with conspiracy to manufacture methamphetamine. KWWL's Justin Andrews continues our live coverage tonight. He's live in Cedar Rapids where the Blair's Ferry Taco Bell remains closed. Yeah, Ron, not much has changed out here. The doors are still locked and signs just like this one are still plastered. But we've been covering every angle of this story, giving you the facts and also even taking it a step further tonight. A special agent calling the meth making materials found inside this Taco Bell highly hazardous. It's been more than 24 hours since authorities found a meth lab inside this Taco Bell and the news still a shock. Well, it's kind of scary. I hear on the newspaper, I hear on the news that there's a meth lab down the street from where my sister lives. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable what was found inside. Coleman fuel usually is a solvent that they'll they'll grab and then they'll have their uh, lithium. So lye is a very caustic chemical and it's basically used as a drain cleaner. According to police, Coleman fuel, lye, drain cleaner, all found inside the Taco Bell, all active and highly hazardous. Dan Steepleton, a special agent with the Iowa Division of Narcotics Enforcement, tells me the chemicals found all have an extreme inhalation hazard. You know, to the untrained eye, to, you know, a normal person, and is it safe to go back in that Taco Bell? Well, if they're, they're probably going to be working with an environmental contractor, I'm assuming. Personally, after it was cleaned up, yeah, I would go back in again. You're looking at pictures, Steepleton says, were active meth labs here in eastern Iowa and are not the chemicals found in the Taco Bell, but they are similar. He busted more than 400 meth labs in his more than 20 years of working to crack down on narcotics. But an active meth lab found inside a restaurant, he admits, is unusual. We've had business settings before where uh, they've had to go through the cleanup process. This makes it a special circumstance since you're talking about a restaurant. Now, Ron, investigators still don't know how long the active ingredients were inside this Taco Bell, but the agent tells me once it's clean, workers and the public will not be at risk. We've got you covered live in Cedar Rapids. I'm Justin Andrews, KWWL News. Now, Justin, thanks very much. Boy, really dangerous. A lot of different kind of ingredients and recipes used to make